celebrate and honor my mom. Um, yeah, it's great. And she deserves a big party like this, you know. And if she was here, I know she'd be out here dancing her ass off, having a ball. Um, and so I'd like to think that her spirit is here with us. Um, and so here, here's my speech. <clears throat> Try to be kind of serious. I seriously cannot stop smiling. This is so amazing. Um, but yeah. My mother was a force of nature. One of the most unique and talented people to ever walk the earth. You know what was the coolest thing about her? And that's saying a lot because there were tons of really cool things about her. But the coolest thing was that she never, ever compromised herself to please other people. She was bold, brutally honest, and true to her identity at all times, and was completely unapologetic about it. I found that to be inspiring, but even more so now as I reflect back on her life and how she influenced me. She had a hard life and shouldn't have had to face the things that she did, but through all that pain and challenge, she was somehow able to flip everything into a positive and make things fun and enjoyable. Even when she was living in severe pain and found out she was dying, she cracked jokes and made light of the situation, while also being really open about her fears and her suffering. My mother shaped who I am. She used to call me her mini-me. <laughs> we shared so many of the same favorites and passions. Pretty much all of the music that influenced me, I know and love because of her. She knew every word and every note to every, and every note to every solo to every song, just like I do. One of my favorite things about her was how deeply she appreciated creative expression. She, if she loved an artist, a song, a movie, comedy, a poem, or even a very specific song lyric, she fully appreciated every detail and expressed it so passionately. Brilliant was a word she often used when talking about art that she loved and science she was fascinated by. She was not embarrassed by anything she was into, as many of us can be sometimes. She didn't care about living outside of the box. In fact, she was proud of it. She sang at the top of her lungs anywhere and anytime she pleased. She laughed when she found things funny, even if it wasn't an appropriate time to do so. <laughs> she cried anytime she needed to, and she loved deep through to her core. Her zest for life was palpable, and she always brought the people she was around up. She was sensitive and strong, a powerful combination. Her youthful spirit helped her to stay excited about what life has to offer, even through her challenges and suffering. It was truly incredible. I love reflecting on all of this and realizing how those parts of her live on through me. Yes. I appreciate brilliant art in the same passionate way that she did. I love deeply. I express my emotions openly. I'm able to tap into my inner child and experience the simple joys. I'm not always as unapologetic as she was, but, <laughs> but she did teach me to be my own person and to never follow the crowd. I'm grateful for that. She taught me so much. Yes. She taught me to be kind to people, no matter who they are, to not judge anyone based on their situation, that everyone deserves to be treated equally. She taught me this by displaying it. She was friendly and kind to every stranger she ever came across. People loved being around her, not only because she was fun and hilarious, but because she made them feel seen. She gave complete strangers compassion and the time of day because she believed they were deserving of it, just as she and everyone else is. She could make friends with literally anyone, and I know there are thousands of lives that she touched by simply being who she was. She was an activist without actively trying to be, and she always stood up for what she believed in. She was a true blessing to the world. My mom was my biggest fan. She has supported my creative endeavors and expressions ever since day one of her hearing me sing along to Aretha Franklin in the back seat of the car at eight years old. We were very poor, but she always found a way to get my voice out there, even if it meant driving us to karaoke competitions at bars and recording demos to karaoke tracks at some dude's house in West Asheville. <laughs> and then going around town convincing people to buy a copy. <laughs> I would have. My mom came to every single show I ever had until she became sick with cancer, and even throughout her eight-year illness, she showed up as much as she could with an insane amount of enthusiasm and danced her Asheville off. <laughs> the fact that 
that she gave what little energy she had to showing up and thoroughly enjoying and appreciating what I was doing meant so much to me. I took it for granted then, but now going through chronic illness myself, I see how huge that was. She wasn't only my biggest fan in music, but just in general. She, she appreciated every little thing about me and always expressed it. She, took, she always took the time to tell me. She encouraged me to do things she thought I was good at that I didn't think I could be good at. She thought I was an excellent writer and believed that I could become a brilliant painter. Even in her last years of life, she wanted to teach me how to paint because she truly believed I could be as good as her. I now realize that maybe she was wanting to pass the baton on to me and give me the tools to tap into feeling connected to her when she's gone. I feel that my mom understood and knew me in a way that nobody else does, and I feel that I understood and knew her in a way that no one else did. We had a bond that was unique and special. That's why I'm so heartbroken over losing her. Uh, I miss her contagious giggle, her smile, her raunchy ass jokes, <laughs> and song parodies. Her wild, outlandish stories, her voice and singing along to our favorite band of all time, Steely Dan, <laughs> playing cards together, dancing together, her youthful, excited spirit, her wisdom, her support, and the undying love she had for her kids. So please, if you have a glass, I have a water bottle, which is what I always choose with because I always drink water. Um, but if you have a glass, please raise your glass and help me cheers to the fabulous Lou, Big Lou, the muse herself, my dear mother, Tammy Lou. Woo!